Liquid is Shopify's templating language designed to help you build dynamic e-commerce websites. Coupled with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, Liquid brings life to your storefront, rendering your store's unique data when a user loads one of your site's pages. This means instead of needing to code individual pages for every URL on our Shopify store, we can create templates to host static content and Liquid will dynamically insert information depending on variables like where the template is rendered, the logged in user, etc. Liquid's structure primarily consists of objects, tags, and filters. Liquid objects represent variables that you can use to build your site's theme. Object types include store resources, standard Shopify content, and functional elements that help you build interactivity into your store. Double curly braces encapsulate objects. They denote pieces of store data like products, orders, customers, etc. Objects can also have several properties associated with them, so the following renders the name of a product. Tags control the logic of your template. Wrapped in curly brackets with percentage signs, tags can loop through product variants or make condition checks like the following to check whether a product is available or not. Filters modify liquid objects. Using a pipe, filters can change the output of a liquid object. So, product.title upcase would convert a product title to uppercase. Filters can also be chained together by simply adding additional filters to the end of these kinds of statements. Now, let's try creating a product display page add to cart form. First, let's display the product title and vendor title using the product object. Next, we use Liquid's built-in form tag. This generates a new form with all the boilerplate necessary for adding a specific product. We do this by setting the product variable inside the form tag. Now, inside the actual HTML of the form tag, we make sure to create a variant selector by looping over product variants in a for loop. We also need a quantity selector. Once we have that set up, we should be good to go. That was Shopify Liquid in two minutes. Hit the like button, subscribe for short videos like this one, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.